there. I said, I know. I, I know what prayer can do. Prayer. Prayer. Prayer will see you through. Prayer will see you through. How I many you know prayer will see you through? <laughs> oh, glory. <laughs> oh. Y'all can say, come on, get with us. If you know what prayer can do, prayer will see you through. The time that you don't know that song. Oh. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Oh, yeah. Just keep on praying, cheering. God will make a way out of nowhere. Keep on praying, cheering. God will fix it for you. Keep on praying, cheering. God will make a way for you. Do you know? Do you really know? 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 Do you know? Do you know? Do you know? Jesus said men ought to always to pray and not faint. He means that whatever you need, just ask the Father. In my name and the Father. What, what's wrong with America and the world today? They stop asking God. God wants us to ask Him for what we need. Woo! They've stopped asking God. They're depending on themselves and their, their knowledge that they got. But there is a God. I say that is a God. He's still alive.
God let me say a few words. I want to just say a few words on, on this thought. I want to talk about the mission of the church in today's world. The mission of the church in today's world. And I'm going to read from the book of Matthews, the um, 16th chapter. Thank you, Mike. And begin at the 13th verse. And when Jesus was coming to the coast of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, saying, Whom do men say that I, the Son of Man, am? And they said, they said, some say that thou art John the Baptist, some Elias, and others Jeremiah, or one of the prophets. They don't know who I am yet. Been here for 30 and three years, and they don't know who I am and what I am. And he said unto them, but whom say ye that I am? And Simon Peter answered and said, Thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. And Jesus answered and said unto him, Blessed art thou, Simon, but Jonah, flesh and blood hath not revealed this unto thee, but my Father which is in heaven. And I say unto thee that thou uh, art Peter, and upon this rock, I will build my church. And the gates of hell shall not prevail against them. The mission of the church in today's world. The church is still, the church is still alive. Amen. The mission of the church in today's world is uh, uh, church the, the church still exists and the mission have not yet been completed uh, amen in the midst of chaos uh, the church is uh, the church is still on the move for God uh, a church a church is a congregation of Christian, of, of Christ baptized disciples, acknowledging Him as their head, relying on His atoning sacrifice for justification before God, and depending on the Holy Spirit for sanctification, united in the belief of the gospel agreeing to maintain its ordinance and obeying its precept, meeting together for meeting together for worship and conjunction, cooperating for the extension of Christ's kingdom in in the world. Talking about the church. Amen. We are here for something. There's a reason. There's a purpose. And Jesus said, upon this rock, I will build my church. And the gates of hell should not prevail. Now, what y'all running for? What are you running for when Jesus said, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against them? That's what Jesus said. The gates of hell should not prevail against them. And there's a, there's, 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 there's a job for the church to do in, in this world today. The mission to the world has been entrusted to the church. The world is at a loss. You see that today. The world is in a chaos today. And I, and I say the world, not just in Houston or Texas, uh, amen, but uh, the entire world, especially in the United States of America today, amen, chaos all over the, the, the United States of, 
Amen. People are at unrest. But the church have a responsibility. The church has been entrusted. It has been entrusted to the church uh, to close out this age with the gospel. Y'all don't get that. The church, amen, has a charge from God to preach the gospel until the end of time. Maybe y'all don't get that. The church not for to go to sleep. Huh? The night is far spent, <laughs> and the day is at hand. But the church, uh, amen, for to wait until the end come. That charge has been given to to church until the close of this age. There ain't no stopping point. The church can't be at ease in Zion. There is work to do. Amen. What is the work of the church? Jesus said on Mount Isle, go ye therefore unto all the world and preach the gospel unto every living creature. Baptize them in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. And lo, I will be with you even. So, 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 so I mean, that you don't stop. You don't, you don't get tired and stop. Do y'all hear what I'm trying to say? You don't say, well, I've done enough. I don't need to do any more. But, but this mission has been entrusted to the church to close out this age. Yes, yes. All right, all right, all right. That, that means until Jesus come back again. Yes, sir. You, the church have responsibility to the world until Jesus come back again. Yes, right. and, 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 and the church ought to be able to tell the world there is a way out of no way. Yes, God said, God said to, to, to Moses, I am the way. Amen. Uh, you recording Jesus now. Jesus said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. No man can come to the Father except by me. And Jesus told Moses, I am whatever you need me to be. I am that I am. Whatever you need me to be in this present age. I know a lot of folks, I get this word from people say, well, then, you know, this, these are changing time. I'm letting it soak in. You know, this is a different word. What kind of different word? God made the... Y'all quote it every Sunday. Yeah, yeah. The earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof. The world and they that dwell therein. He have found it and have established it of the flood. Who shall? Or who shall? Now listen, if, 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 if God had created the heaven and earth, he's still alive. The, the, the earth, the world belongs to God. He know about this virus, whatever they call it, coronavirus. This pandemic, that means all over the world. It's not just in Houston or in your household or in America. It's all over the world. Yes, sir. Amen. But God is trying to get man's attention. Let him know that he's still in control of the universe. Yes, if you haven't got it yet, you're going to get it. A amen, because the waste is yet to come. We have a chaos all over the world, all, all over the, uh, the United States right now. Yes, sir. Basically, in every state, there's something going on today because of that young man uh, that, that, that was killed, yes, that was murdered, and in, in, in the eyes of the world was looking right at it. Yes, and, that, and, and, and the individual that did didn't show no mercy. Had his hand in his pocket while he had, had his knee on, on the fellow's neck. The churches have seen those who say they're part of the church, something wrong with that. We have, we, have, we have churches all over the United States, a small church, mega church. But what are the church doing today in this present world today? There, there's a job for the, the church to do in this present world. Now, if you're not part of the church, you're not going to do anything. Late yesterday evening, they had a good meeting at Bishop uh, John Dixon Church. And we had Sheila Jackson Lee and, and uh, a lot of state representatives that were there in the meeting. Right. And, um, and what I like about the police chief of Houston, he made a good talk. Yes. Not no statement, he made a good talk. Yes. But what's wrong? Uh, with the world in this condition, 
of the law enforcement. He said, what a shame. The man was handcuffed. And yet, the officer had a knee on his neck. And, 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 and resting his knee as, as though nothing was going on. We have a problem with the world. But, that, but the church needs to step up and denounce every wrong act that is committed. It, it, it's not just about shouting all the time. But there's work to be done. Tell your fellow man when he's wrong. That's what the word of God is for. Let you know when you're right and let you know when you're wrong. The Bible does say the wind, the wedges of sin, but the gift of God, it, it, it still mean that. If you do wrong, God will punish you. In the Ten Commandments, I think, said, thou shalt not what? Thou shalt not kill. The law enforcement is not, it's not out there to kill people. That's not the purpose of law enforcement. Right. You'll hear, I said, wonder why I'm going this way. But the, that's not the purpose of the, the, the law enforcement. That is to keep the government, right. to keep things in place. Yeah. See that thing go as it should. Right. And also, my add this, to protect the citizen, the law. Read 13th chapter of, 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 of Rome. Amen. There, there be no power except it be ordained of God, which is a higher power. The power that be come from God. It, the law was not created to create a terror to the righteous, but to the wicked. If you, if you, if a righteous person, ain't up, the, the law ain't folks ain't got no business trying to terrorize you. If, if you are a, uh, a law-abiding citizen, the law ought to commend you. Maybe y'all don't understand what I'm saying. The church, but the church needs to step up to the plate. God, back in the day, he had prophets. And when, when, when Israel did wrong, he sent his prophet to let them know about their wrongness that they were disobeying his law. Y'all follow me? When, when, when Israel had done wrong and God split the kingdom into two kingdoms, the southern kingdom and the northern kingdom. Ahab, at one point, he was the king over the northern kingdom. And he and Jezebel led Israel wrong to worship our gods. But God sent his man. God sent, I'm going to say it like that, he sent his church. He, he sent Elijah to Ahab palace and told him that because you have led Israel to do wrong, there won't be no rain. From the God of heaven. There will be no rain for a space of three years. And James saying six months. <laughs> three years and six months. If that won't be no rain. You know what? Amen. We can speculate if we want to, but I'm just going to use what he said. And he turned around and left out of his palace. And God shut up the heaven. <laughs> Y'all don't hear what I'm saying? Amen. Now my mind go back now. My mind going back when after Solomon had, had, had built the temple in Jerusalem and had dedicated the temple in Jerusalem. Do you hear what I'm trying to say? He had dedicated the temple in Jerusalem and, and, and he prayed a dedicatory prayer. And when he got through praying, God told Solomon, I heard your prayer and I've chose this place for my name. Oh, good God, my name. Y'all don't feel what I feel. I've chose this place for my name. That's what he was talking to Solomon about. And, and then he went on a little further. He said, then if I shut up to heaven. That, that's what Elijah did. 
devil he lied to hell. If I shut up to heaven, that there be no rain. If I send forth locusts to devour the land. And if I cause pestilence. But if my people, which are called by my name, will armor themselves and turn from their wicked ways and pray, then will I hear from heaven and hear the land. Something wrong today. God, people need to, need to pray. Tell God about what's going on in the world today. Yeah, the church has a responsibility today in the world. The church need to walk to and fro. Let men know what God has said in his holy word. Jesus said, I'm coming back. And I'm coming back after my church with our spider ranker. Good God Almighty. If you don't know him, you need to get to know him. Somebody said, a man from Galilee. If you're in sin, he will set you free. Do you know him? Yeah. He, 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 he. He's the seed of Abraham, the mighty meek, and I'm a lamb. Do you know him? Thank God I know the man from Galilee. One day I met him. My mother told me about him, but I got a chance to meet him for myself. Ever since that day, I gave my life to Jesus. Yeah. Somebody sung a song and said, every day with Jesus. It just looks sweeter than the day before. You may not walk with me, but when Jesus walked with me, every day my walk gets sweeter and sweeter. I got somebody by my side. He walked with me, talked with me, tell me I'm at home. I know him. He's a friend of mine. Yeah! Do you know him? Thank God. Good God Almighty. Yeah, my job is to let you know that Jesus is coming back. Good God Almighty, coming back. I read in Peter said he's coming back after his church with our spider ranker. Good God Almighty, if you're not right, I come to tell you, you better get on your knees. Tell God, tell the Lord, fix me, Lord, fix me, Lord. I need you. Fix me, Lord. Yeah. Fix my heart. So fix my soul. Fix my mind so I can think right. Fix my heart so I can walk right. Fix my tongue so I can talk right. Won't he do it? The church has a responsibility. To tell a dying word, they got to get right with the law. Yeah, if they want the coronavirus to stop, tell God, tell the Lord. He said, if you talk to me, if my people would just call by my name, would just talk to me. How many of you talk to them? Not just about yourself, but tell them about this whole world. It, it's full of corruption. Isn't it right about it? Tell the Lord. We need you, Lord. Need your Holy Spirit. I dare you, church, to let the Holy Spirit engulf your heart, engulf your mind, engulf your soul, that it be all in you, all around you. He can do it if you let him do it. If my people would you call by my name will arm themselves and turn from their wicked way and pray the church have a job. Not just come here and listen to the choir to sing. Thank God we don't have no choir now. You can hear that. Everybody at the choir. Everybody at the choir. Don't you feel good singing? You know, those of you, I mean, everybody here, don't you feel good singing? I dare you sing, sing a little longer. Till you get into your soul. Till you feel it on the inside. You want to see some shouting? Amen. Yeah, the Holy Ghost changed to come in. He ain't going to just jump in. 
You hard the mind got to get right for him to come in. He when you want he is want to come in just to jump up. No, he not gonna do that. When he come into it, he gonna have something for you to do. Good God, man, you gonna tell somebody. <laughs> you won't be able to keep it to yourself when the Holy Ghost get in you. Amen. You won't be able to sit still. <laughs> You won't be able to stay at your house and be satisfied. You see somebody, your friend, your neighbor, your, your children, your, 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 your nephew, your, your, your relative need to be saved. And you got to tell God about it. And when you tell God about it, then you go to your friend, you go to your loved one and tell them you better get right with God because Jesus is coming back again. How many of y'all believe he's coming back? I don't know about you. But I'm getting ready every day of my life. I'm not worried. I'm like Jesse the planet. I'm not worried about what you think about me. But I am worried about what Jesus think about me. Good God Almighty. I'm not trying to satisfy you. But I am trying to satisfy Jesus. Lord, are you satisfied with the way I walk? Lord, are you satisfied? With the way I talk, Lord, are you satisfied at the way I treat my friend? Lord, are you satisfied at the way I treat my neighbor? Lord, are you satisfied when I go and tell the dying world that your son gave his life out on a hill called Calvary? Good God Almighty, stood hung there on the old regular cross. The Bible said from the sixth till the ninth hour. He hung there between two thieves. Never and never said a mumbling word because he was dying not for himself, but he was dying for you and I. I'm glad it was a shame for him to hang on the cross, but I'm glad that he hung there. I'm glad he hung there for your sin, hung there for my sin, but after a while, same Jesus is coming back again. I didn't go the way I wanted to go, but thank God. The mission of the church in the world today is not just to come here and say, I've been to church. The devil go to church. It's not just say, I come to church. What do you come for? If the preacher never preach, you ought to come to worship God. If the choir never sing, you ought to come to worship God. This is the house of, of prayer and worship. Where you come give God praise and adoration for, look at all you've been blessed. All you've been blessed. All you looking good. You didn't do that on your own. It was God that gave you life, health, and strength. How many of you gave thanks to him this morning when you got up? As the preacher said, don't fool me now. If, if you have given God thanks, you ought to let the world know you thank God. Don't keep it to yourself. <laughs> y'all hear what I'm trying to say? The world ought to know that, you, that, that you're grateful to God for what he has and is. And hopeful that he shall do for you. God been good to me. I'm talking about me now, Lord. Buddy, I'm talking about me now, Lord. I say, God been good to me. Look at me if you will. God, I've been through hell and high water. But thank God. No wonder David said, Yea, though I walk through the valley in the shadow of death. <laughs> I will feel no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they cover me. Thou prepare a table before me, rather than the presence of my enemy. Thou anointed my head with oil. Oh, my cup, my cup, my cup, my cup, not your cup, my cup, my cup. When I think about the goodness of the Lord, when I think about how you walk with me, when I think about how you talk with me, when I think about what you've done for me, I just have to say thank you. Thank you, Lord, 
for being so good to me. You brought me through dangers, seen and unseen. You still God in my life. Woke me up early, early this morning. Started me on my way. He the mighty good God. Jesus is coming back, y'all. And you're going to sit here and do nothing? What kind of reward do you expect from, from the Lord? What do you expect the Lord to reward you for? You can ask, answer that to yourself. What you got to show the Lord that you work for him? Thank you, Lord. He just revealed to me. He said, if any man will come after me, let him first. In other you words, know, he can't come after me unless he first deny himself. Don't, tell me, don't try to take up no cross until you do the first thing first. If any man come after me, let him first deny himself and then take up his cross. Now, you can't take up mine. Yes, yes, Listen, notice he said, if any man, that don't mean everybody. Yeah. Yeah. If any man, that who said will, then whoever comes, he said, first of all, before he follows me, he got to deny himself and then take up his cross. That means you got to give up a whole lot of things you want to do. It may be all right, but you give it up. Huh? If any man come out, let him first deny himself and then take a big cross and follow me naturally on Sunday. Some, some of you got, some of you, some of you got. Well, I go to church, I spend two hours and everything out, and an hour and a half, I'm going to leave him. What do you, what kind of reward are you expecting from the Lord? How many times, and we should, if you, if you come after you got to deny yourself daily. Daily. Looking at myself, y'all, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking, contemplating on me. I'm contemplating on me. What, what have I done? There's a song that said, I came to Jesus just as I am. I was weary, wounded, and sad. But I, personal pronoun, found in him a resting place. You know, he made me glad. <laughs> I, I'm not just glad now, but God, all my life, oh, wait. God has made me glad. You know, he blessed me all my life. Uh, yes, amen. Not being braggadocious, but he, he let me drive my car with my family all across America without having a flat. Without the motor stopping. All across the United over all those hills and mountains. Amen. On Pike Peak in Colorado. You know, on the Mount Rainier in Washington State. On top of the Empire State Building and in Miami, Florida. You know, all around there, you know. Frisco, you know. You name it, I claim it. God, God didn't recall. Who is it? You know, by, not, not just flying over. But David flies over. See, but Lord, let me... Mm -hmm. I, I didn't have that, what you call that, the, the, the GPS. God put a GPS in my mind. I got a family here where I never to get lost. I don't care where I went. I did, I never did good place I've never been before. When I'm driving with two lane highway, they didn't have no super highway. When I started driving, didn't have no super highway. When I thought, but God gave me a map in my mind. He gave me a GPS in my mind. You, you see, in traveling, you got to know your direction. You got to know what direction the sun rise. You got to know what direction the sun go down. You, you got to know what direction the east and the west is. And right about the north and south, you can, get, you, you can get lost if you don't know the south from the north, the east from the west. You, I, I, I mean, you can be going east and think you're going west, you're lost. <laughs> Good God. So when you're traveling, you got to know, when you make curves, you got to know what direction you're going. Thank God I know what direction I'm on. On this narrow way to glory, I know where, what direct what road I'm on. Jesus has straight and narrow the gate that lead to life eternal. 
but broad is the gate and broad is the way that leads to destruction. I'm glad I know my direction. Do you know your direction? Are you on the right road now? <laughs> oh, glory, that's enough. The church has work to do in the world today. It's not about this a different age. Who made the age? Who made the years? Who made the season? They said, well, different generations. Who made the generations? You think God had created himself out of this existence? He done made things so modern that he's not a part of it no more? That he don't understand this new generation? You got it? Yes, sir. He don't understand what's going on. They, you know, they ain't like they used to be. Who you, they, 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 you know what make them not like they used to be? The devil. Yes, sir. Satan. Amen. He the one changed the heart and mind of these young people. Lord, have mercy. They have, they have a satanic mind. Yes, sir. How many like your, like your skin that God made you? Yes, it, is, it is smooth? Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes, sir. Do you have to put paint on it, fix it like you want to? Draw, draw a snake on your body? Draw a lion on your body? Draw a cross on your forehead? That's satanic. God, that's what you worship and what you serve. Y'all don't get the picture, do you? When you do all those things, that means you're not thinking about God made your body a beautiful body. Yes, sir. Every last one of us. Yes, sir. I'm glad my body. Yes, Y'all better not put better not put no mark on me. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's satanic. Think somewhere in the Bible says don't mark yourself, isn't it? Huh? Amen. May God bless you. I could talk all day. I'm 87 years old, but I sure could talk if I want. We're going to get a song and open the door to church. There may be somebody who want to come to the Lord. There may be somebody who, who want to renew their fellowship with God. If you're here, we're going to ask you to come. Okay, uh, Brother Odom Guest is here. And uh, she was supposed to have been here last Sunday. Was it last Sunday? And, and uh, you can go around there. Amen. She's here. I wonder who that lady was sitting out there. But she's been witnessing. She's been witnessing all through the service. She know Alberta because I think she's from Sugar Land. And she know Alberta. We used to go out to home church and preach all the time. And while she's singing... There may be somebody who want to renew that relationship with the Lord. Or somebody who want to come to the, have, have gotten out of a relationship with God and want to come back. Then there may be someone who want to come to the Lord. All right. As she sings, there may be someone. First of all, I want to say good morning. Can we put our hands together for God? You know, if you've had a week like I've had a week, I didn't come here to sing. I come here to thank God. Amen, daughter. I come because Go ahead, that's all right Amen God's been good to me Amen I stopped by just for a little while I ain't gonna hold you long I didn't come to say all this But I have to <laughs> Look here God has been good to me And I want to say thank you Amen I gotta thank your spirit this yeah, morning all right, all right. Let, Excuse me But let me go down my thank you list yeah, All right Thank you for waking me up this morning. Thank you for starting me on my way. I got eyes to see, legs to walk. Thank you, God. Thank you. Look at here. Y'all running around here talking about I can't breathe and I sympathize. But I thank God I can breathe. All right. I'm still alive. I'm still here. Corona, whatever he called. I, I'm still, God is still in the blessing business. All right. And he's it. still blessing me. And I didn't come to say all that. I bring you greetings from the Mount Pleasant Missionary Baptist Church. 
where the Emeritus Edith Thomas is my pastor under the leadership of the B.C. Thomas, and I just want to say hello. Amen. I thank God for all this acknowledging me and, and seeing something in me. We work together, and I just be, you know, causing chaos at work. And he said, wait a minute, I want you to stop by El Beth for just a minute. And I said, for what? He said, to do what you're doing right here at work. It's a blessing that when somebody can see you at work. All right. Praising God like it ain't like you, like it's on Sunday morning. All right. <laughs> That's what, yeah. Because I got a reason to praise him. Look at here. I just want to tell you this here little old tune. You know, I'm old school. I come from back there in Sugar Land with my shoe barefoot. And we sing these old country songs. You know, we don't, you know, I like prosperity. Don't get me wrong. I do encouraging things. Don't get me wrong. But there's a little old tune that I want to say. And don't hear the melody. Listen to the message. Because it's in times like these, I'm real grateful that God chose me. He chose me. He chose me. Out of all that he could have used, he chose me. He chose me, and he can use me till he used me up. See, if I told y'all the story behind that song, y'all would get up in here and run away from this place. <laughs> because I'm real grateful that one day, on a Friday night, I was doing some messed up stuff. I was real raggedy. I was real sinful, and he chose me. He chose me out of all that he could have used. Y'all don't understand. I was 96 pounds pregnant. Kidnapped by crack cocaine. In 2000, God said, daughter, he chose me. He chose me. And he can use me till he used me up. Look here, I'm going to leave y'all with this right here. I'd have been to 21 treatment facilities. I'd have been to TDC five times. That's what they would five different TDC numbers. <laughs> I fight the police. <laughs> and let me show you what God can do. Ask me where I work at today in TDC. And I don't go in by, 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 uh, the, uh, admission I go in by voluntarily and I come out they can't hold me today and I go in with one message he chose me he chose me out of all that he could have you you know, so my, my, the people on my job, they got more education than me. They more professional than me. I'm not boasting or bragging on me. I'm boasting and bragging on God. Those same people. That's got the education. The same people that walks around with the professionalism. On last week, they had to give me a certificate for promotion, increase in finances. Corona didn't stop none of that. 
And that's because God chose me. He chose me out of all that he could have used. He chose me, y'all. And I'm real grateful. I'm real, real, real grateful. And he can use me till he uses me. Y'all sit here like he, like you supposed to be here. He chose you. He showed me. He showed me. Oh, he showed me. 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 Oh. He showed me. Amen. Y'all want another song? Okay. All right. The time do you want to sing the? You want to sing a song? Hallelujah by myself. Lani, where Lani go? All right. Y'all need. I want. I'm not ready to go home, y'all, because y'all gonna go home all the week. You gonna hide all the week. Y'all gonna be in hiding all the way. <laughs> Y'all ready to go? <laughs> I'm not ready. I wanna praise God. <laughs> He's worthy to be praised. Well, I love back. Y'all were singing. Everybody was singing this morning. I love that. Amen. Everybody getting into the worship. Amen. And that's what God wants everybody to worship Him. Amen. We're going to listen to that, and then we'll uh, take up the offering. I wouldn't take nothing for my journey now. I wouldn't take nothing for my journey now. Nothing for my journey now. Oh, oh I've come. I've come too far to turn around now. I wouldn't take nothing. Everybody. I wouldn't take nothing. That's it. Nothing for my journey. Oh, 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 oh. yeah, yeah. I've come too far to turn around now. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 not nothing for my journey now. I would take nothing, nothing. 
the time I journey right now Nothing, nothing Oh, 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 oh Running for Jesus, running for a mighty long time. Yeah, and I have it. I'm not tired yet. Yeah, I get so discouraged. Yeah, and I get so afraid. You know what? But I run to the hills and we come and my help. I'd rather have the love before the call of death. No, 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 not nothing for my journey now. I would take nothing, nothing for my journey right now. Nothing, nothing. Oh, 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 oh. yeah, yeah. I've come to for the turn around now. Mighty good to know him, to know him for yourself. Yeah, I gotta live for Jesus and nobody else. Yeah, you can't stop me, you can't turn me around. You know why? I run the way to heaven, I won't turn around. I got my feet on solid ground. No, 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 not nothing for my journey now. I would take nothing, nothing for my journey right now. Nothing, nothing. Oh, 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 oh. yeah, yeah. I've come too far to turn around now. Yes, I have. I've been running for Jesus. I've come too far. Yes, I have. I've been running for Jesus. Yeah, a mighty long time. Yeah, and then I look back over my life and I see way back before. I see hills, the Lord brought me over. I see rivers, the Lord brought me through. I see you rivers. The Lord brought me over. I see valleys. The Lord brought me through. I've come too far. Yes, I have. 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 I see hills. The Lord brought me over. I see you rivers. The Lord brought me through. I've come too far. Yes, I have. 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 And I got my ticket in my head. Lord, I'm headed to glory land. Yeah, I got my ticket in my head. I'm headed to glory land. I've come too far. Yes, I have. 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 Lord, I got my ticket in my hand. Lord, I'm headed to glory land. Lord, I got my ticket in my hand. I'm headed to glory land. I've come too far. Yes, I have. 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 Lord, I've come to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know. I know, I know. I've come too far. I've come too far to turn around now. 
about you, but I come too far. all of you. Now it's time for us to give our offering and pay our tithes. As I read from the book of Malachi, those of you who want to pay your tithes, you may come. The Bible says, will a man rob God?